Hi, in this video we are going to build Telegram AI Assistant with low-code tools. First we will build a very basic version that can answer only basic questions, but then we will add Langchain to our workflow and our bot will gain memory, will be able to answer very advanced questions and perform even tasks. So let's get started. The very first thing we need to do is we need to create a Telegram bot. So you need to find the bot father uh, profile on Telegram and enter command new bot. Then you need to name your bot. In my case, it's Workflows AI and give a nickname. In my case, it's Workflows AI bot. Then you should see your token access key. So just copy it, go to NA10 and create new credential. On the list, look for Telegram API and paste there your access key. I will also rename my credentials because I like just to keep things clean and organized. Now just click save and close this window. We also need to add OpenAI credentials. So go to your OpenAI dashboard and click view API keys. And here you can create new API key, but I've already done this. So I will just add a new credential and I will look for OpenAI on credential list and I will paste there my API key. I will also rename this credential and simply save this credential and close this window. Now we can go to the workflow. I will leave you download link to the workflow in the description so you can also import it to your NA10 instance. And first thing I need to do is click listen for event in Telegram trigger and then go to my Telegram bot and click start. And I should receive the data from Telegram with information regarding chat. And because I want to use this data for further process, I need to go to this node and pin the data. I also need to connect the trigger node with the very first if node, which checks if the user sends the initial message, which is start. When user sends that message, we just want the workflow to ignore it. In data received from Telegram, you can also see chat ID. We will use it later for authorization. So when user sends initial start message, this workflow will do nothing. But when user sends something else, this workflow will check if the chat ID is authorized to run the conversation. And then comes the sequence of actions. First, the workflow sends the typing action to show that the bot is thinking. Then comes the prompt to open AI GPT 3.5 turbo model and you are an assistant called Workflows AI. Your task is to help user in daily tasks. And basically in content uh, field comes the message from the user. And finally, when the workflow receives the response from OpenAI, it will send to the requested chat ID the message that comes from OpenAI. That's all. There is a second part of this workflow, which is sequence for unauthorized users. First, this workflow will send the typing action, wait three seconds, and finally will send the message, I'm not authorized to speak with you. So basically, when we finish configuration, we can just activate the workflow, which will also save automatically and test it in Telegram. So first I will just clear the chat history and send the initial start message. After sending this message, nothing should happen. So as you can see, the message was received and nothing happens. And I will send also the welcome message. And what happens next is the typing action. This is something that we wanted to have. Please just note that I've just introduced myself. I said, hi, my name is Oscar and uh, OpenAI responds, hi, Oscar, nice to meet you. And I will just ask for my name. And actually GPT doesn't know what is my name because it has no memory. I will ask it also, what is Flowwise AI, which is the very new tool. And of course, GPT doesn't know what is Flowwise AI because the model doesn't have such knowledge. So let's change it. I've installed Flowwise on my server, which is the UI for Langchain. And then you can go to Marketplace and select the workflow. I selected Conversational Agent. As you can see, this chat flow should include memory, of course, language model, and two tools for calculation and performing Google search. You can click Use Template, but I already have my chat flow ready to go with field API keys. In Flowwise, you can also test your chat flow in dedicated chat 
window and also add new nodes, for example, memory nodes, document loaders and many, many more. But what you want to do right now is just you need to save this workflow and click code icon and copy the CURL code. Then go to your chat workflow in NA10 and look for HTTP request node. Then you need to just click import CURL and paste there your code. We need to also make some changes here. First, we need to change the value of question parameter. The default one is, hey, how are you? But we want to change it to the real message from the user. So I will go to open AI node and I will copy the parameter from the content field and simply paste it into the HTTP request node. We also need to add response option. So simply scroll down and in options section, add new option. By doing this, we simply tell the node that the response is the simple text that should be stored under key data. Finally, we also need to send the message to the user. So I will just copy send response telegram node and I will also edit it. First, I will connect the HTTP request node with send response note and I will also point in text field to the output from the previous note, which is HTTP request note. As you can see, I use here the data key that we configured in the previous note just a few seconds ago. Finally, I will just change the sequence path and save the workflow. And basically we are ready to test our bot again. So I will go to Telegram and once again, I will clear the chat history. I will send the same messages as before, but look how different the responses from our bot will be. After sending the initial start message, I say, of course, hi, my name is Oscar. And our bot responses, hi, Oscar, how can I assist you today? Let's check right now if the bot remembers my name. So I ask, what is my name? And it responds, your name is Oscar. And finally, let's ask about Flowwise. Right now, our workflow performs the Google search and yes, our bot responses with the correct answer. So thank you very much for watching. This is all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and to my newsletter, link in the description, share this video and of course, see you soon. Bye.